All right, one final thing that Inventor does really, really well is lets us do the photorealistic renders all within the one program. To do that, we go to Environments with the file open that we want, and then we click on Inventor Studio. There's a lot of presets and different settings you can change here, but I'm just going to do a really quick, effective way. First, the lighting styles. There's a lot of different ones. Click on the light in real time on the model. I'm just going to stick with the default one for now. Scene styles is something I like to play around with. I've just been customizing this one here. When it opens, you'll need to watch out for cutting in half. It'll probably be up to cut through the bottom of the car, which means it won't run anything below that line. So it'll be an airline and set the offset to minus 6.5 millimeters. Reflections, I turned on use reflection image, and there's a built in ones for those. So I might get it to reflect the sky for this version. The background here I set from, by default, is a black and white gradient. I set it to all white. And then make sure you hit save for that preset. And then done. So view, however you would like it. Then we come up to render image. Very important here, change your scene style to the one that you were just playing with. Your camera is probably your current view unless you've saved another viewpoint. Your lighting is probably your current one unless you've gone through and fitted one of those. As for the size, you want to start pretty small until you're happy with the view and then you can bump it right up into the thousands for your one to save. So for now we'll leave it active view. Output is if you want to save the file. This one here will get rid of fuzzy edges and put it on this one will take a lot longer but look a lot cleaner. And then style, we've got another quality setting here, reflection, which we'll live on. So I'm going to hit render now. And we'll go through box by box. This one a little bit dark, so I could come and fit it with the light. But you can see the ground plane is spot on with the bottom of the wheel, so I'm getting a perfect reflection. I'm getting the image that I reflected in the bodywork here and I'm also make sure before you start this you have perspective turned on from the view cube otherwise it's going to look a little bit unrealistic if you're happy with it you can save it but more likely you would come back in and bump this up to something enormous and then run the rendering again which will take quite a few minutes but then you'll have something really really high quality to then using your folio or your pit display or whatever other graphics.